This episode has been brought to you by JustInform.com. If you're tired of being censored, tired of having your data stolen and sold, go to JustInform.com, a social media site where all voices are welcome. Is anyone else tired of Rick Scott's grandstanding? Because I am. Now, over the last week, since the elections have concluded, we have seen Rick Scott come out and make claims that Brenda Snipes is trying to pretty much either stall the election or add votes to the count and uh, uh, rig the election in favor of Bill Nelson and, and, and rig the election against DeSantis and in favor of Andrew Gillum. And you know what's interesting about all of this? Rick Scott has never once mentioned Tim Canova's name, but there's also another name that he refuses to mention. It's Debbie Washerman Schultz. You know what else Rick Scott refuses to mention? And this isn't from me. This isn't hearsay. This is from the primary source, Tim Canova himself, who told me on several occasions and has the emails to prove it. He told Rick Scott, Brenda Snipes rigged the election against him the first time. Rick Scott is aware of the federal subpoena that resulted in the destruction of tons of ballots from Tim Canova and Debbie Washington Schultz's previous race. Rick Scott knows Brenda Snipes cheats. Tim Canova, once again, reached out and told him, you need to hold this woman accountable or it absolutely will happen again. What do you all think Rick Rick Scott did? Absolutely not a damn thing. And then Tim Canova got a really reliable source who told him the Republicans were told to stand down. They were told to to not make a big deal out of this. No understand in Florida, most of the Democrats and the Republicans are paid by the same people, which is probably why Rick Scott won't do the one thing that we all know he should do. And that many people who may not have been paying attention may not have known that he could do. Rick Scott is the current governor of Florida. A lot of people are aware that he did win the Senate or the Senate race against uh, Bill Nelson, but at this very moment, he is the act the, the current and acting sitting government of Florida. If he wanted to hold Brenda Snipes accountable, if these recounts were legitimate, if Rick Scott's cries for wolf were serious, Rick Scott could fire Brenda Snipes just as easily as George, or excuse me, as Jeb Bush hired her. That is within his constitutional capacity, according to the state of Florida. She was put there by Jeb. She could be fired any moment that he chose. And yet, we are allowing, we are allowing people to determine this narrative, to dictate this narrative, that it's the Republican versus Democrats and the Democrats versus Republicans, that they're just so super serial about these recounts. (laughs) It's political theater, people. (laughs) I don't know how else to put it. Rick Scott has always had the power to end Brenda Snipes' career. We have federal court documents saying that she broke not only state law, not only the laws of the municipality that she exists in, but federal law, people. Rick Scott did absolutely nothing, and yet here he is pretending as if he cares. Think about this. This is a Republican. Why would he? He won the race already. He had absolutely nothing to gain. The only reason that he made a big deal about this was because this was, in my opinion, after the people that I've spoken with, obviously living in Florida, 
campaigning for Tim Canova. This was political theater and a distraction away from what actually took place in District 23. Because notice Rick Scott had nothing to say until Marco Rubio retweeted that video from that lovely volunteer that Tim Canova posted on his page. And notice that no one said that what was done in that video was legal because we all know it wasn't. Instead, it became about voter fraud. So then it gives TYT an excuse to talk shit about uh, Rick Scott and the Republicans. It gives the Democrats an excuse to say, count every vote. But they didn't care about counting every vote when Andrew Gillum conceded before he even had to. Well within the margin of error for an automatic recount. He is pretending the Democrats and Republicans are once again playing you. Do not believe a single word coming out of either of them. It's funny enough, other than Tim Canova and the pundits who have been keeping up with this, the only Republican that you can believe or listen to with any sense in this situation is Marco Rubio for some odd reason. He's the only one who decided to make this a nonpartisan issue that it is. I'm curious to know what you think about this issue. Do you think that Rick Scott is uh, partaking in political theater? Do you think that he is grandstanding? Or do you think that his fears of a race that he's already won are legitimate? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And always remember more than anything else, people. Find your balance. Peace. Thanks for watching that segment of Mikasa Sukasa. You can donate to our Patreon and keep helping the network grow by clicking on the link in the description below. And also, make sure you join us at justinform.com. And finally, make sure you subscribe to us on Roku and be part of the very first independent news network on Roku TV. But more than anything else, always remember, find your balance. Peace.